There were 13,000 properties that received some flooding. 8,000 homes were flooded. 4,000 were substantially damaged. The thing that I think back and impresses me the most is the way this community came together. It was a real sense of community, neighbor helping neighbor. Uh, my mother had a property on Green Island, and I can remember all of us going out, cleaning the furniture out of everybody's house, leaving it on the front lawn, and public works coming to, to pick up that debris. Uh, the dunes behind you were a result, direct result of Sandy. They should have been here before Sandy. If you remember, at any northeast storm, the waves were breaking right here at the boardwalk. Uh, we were blessed to have a team here in Tom River. Uh, fire, EMS, and uh, and also uh, our police officers. Captain Steve Henry at the time took care of the operational rescues the first day. Uh, Captain Burgess with the Detective Bureau went in and uh, assured security. And uh, there was a lot. There's memory. Somebody just reminded me. I came over here. We had a new program, Spillman, that the uh, township gave us a computer aid dispatch, and it let us know. Uh, the property, what property was there. And right at the corner here on 3rd, a lady left me a phone message. I called her. She thought she was coming down for Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, and she wanted to know, was her house going to be ready? And when I pulled up, the house was totally gone. I could look at my tax map on my computer in the car. And I said, I'm sorry, I hate to do this over the telephone, but your house is not no longer here. And as the story goes, I walked out on the property. I fell over a piece of debris, went down the ground. My hand went into the sand, and I came up with a manure. I said, in Whitley Beach? Come on. <laughs> and uh, so I got back to the car, and I said, the only thing left here is a manure. She goes, yeah, that was my grandmother's. So, a month later, she came to headquarters, and she broke down, as I did, <laughs> being Italian, Irish, and we broke down, and we needed a wet back, because that was the only thing left of that house that stood there. And you remember that, right? You were there. I remember it well. So, uh, he reminded me, and as I come here, you get choked up with those memories. And we are holding this light because... They shed light on us, and we shed light on them. With well, a memory, when I got a call from Paul, he says, hey, I have a passport. He's on the base side. Where's Paul? Remember that? And Paul says, I got a passport here. I said, oh, I know who that is. He lives on the ocean front. We find him. We go to Paul's house. And Paul says he had debris all over the place on the base side. And he goes, yeah, I also found this Norman Rockwell paint, uh, plate. It came from the ocean front ended up in the debris pile, and that was the only thing left of that gentleman's house besides his passport, right? So those are the memories that stick with you when you drive through here. Thinking over the last week of how many people came together when we were all simply desperate. Uh, Maria Maruka, you were, you were one of those leading people. Uh, you and Sheriff Mastodardi, the police chief at the time, uh, they were out here day one. Um, actually, day zero, I guess, pretty much getting out here to help people recover. I don't know how many people know. Know what this is? Yep. yep. So, um, this is from the Bucket Brigade. Cassandra, who's no longer with us, she came around. She had these buckets full of bleach, cleaning supplies, and whatever you needed. It was absolutely remarkable, the volunteer effort. I kept this. My grandkids take it to the beach every time because I like to be reminded about how we help each other and how people like Cassandra, uh, in the end, uh, gave her life for, for all of us. She could help us, but sadly we couldn't help her as much as she, as she needed it. Um,